Hello my friends, welcome to today's video. I'm Jeanette with Revol Vintage Designs. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I made these adorable little gift tags. Um, very easy to make. So let's get started. This is what you're going to need. I'm, I have my, who makes this? Uh, Muno Pan Paints. I have some Canson watercolor paper, very inexpensive and perfect for this project. I have a scissor, a hole punch. Um, this is a Princeton Aqua Elite size eight round brush. I have a fine liner, a gold acrylic paint pen, and I have two Tombow um, pens here, one in red, one in green. You, I'm only using this to write the names on the cards. I have a glass of water, and I took one of the sheets of the Canson water paper and I cut it in half just so that um, this video won't be too long. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're gonna take some water and activate some of the colors on our palette. So I'm going to use some yellow. I'm gonna put a little water on that. I want some orange. I want some red. I'm gonna choose a blue and a nice bright green. So let's put some water on those colors just to activate them so that we can use them as soon as we're ready to paint. Okay, that should do it. All right, so clean your brush and just put it aside for the time being. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take our fine liner. This is a 0.65 millimeter. And we are just going to scribble some lines on here. We're going to make them all curly and swirly. And we're going to go all around our paper. Like that. Then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our paintbrush and we're gonna pick up our first color. Mine is yellow. And I'm gonna start painting my little light bulbs. And on the first on um, the first set of cards that I made, the um, gift tags rather, I made them really small and it took forever. So on this one, I'm going to make them just a little bit bigger so it doesn't take so long. So go around and put in your little lights. And I'm just making them almost like a leaf shape. And you can add as many or as little as you like. Nothing about this has to be perfect, so don't, don't think that they have to look exactly like light bulbs. Just have some fun with it. You can see that they're really cute and um, it should be fun, not stressful. All right, so once your paper is dry, and mine is not completely dry, some of these are still wet, you're going to take your fine liner and you're just going to scribble some lines at the base of each of your little lights to make it look as though they are connected to the string. You don't have to get carried away. Again, just a little scribble, a little zigzag scribble to connect each light bulb to the string go around and do them all. Once you're done, you're going to measure your paper. And this is not perfect. They're not all going to be the same size, but I'm okay with that. And then I have a paper cutter here. So I've done a couple of little marks here to indicate where I want to cut my paper. So I'm going to, oops, this way. I'm hoping that I don't smear this because as I said, some of them are not yet dry. And I'm going to start cutting out my little tags. I've already smeared one. 
Let me clean that before I make it worse. <laughs> So you can see I've, I'm centering the line, the mark that I've made, and I'm just running my little paper cutter across that line. And these little paper cutters are fantastic. I think I bought this on Amazon, and I don't think I paid more than $10 for it, which I thought was really a good price. All right, so let's get this out of the way for a moment because I have to make some more marks. I only made a mark on one of them. So now I'm just going to put a little dot in the center of each one. I'm not gonna do them all. I'm just going to do a couple of them so that you can see. I'm gonna choose one like this and one like that. Did I mark this one now? Of course, I did, okay. All right, so now center your little mark and cut. So now you have your little tags. Now the next thing you're going to do is I took a piece of scrap paper and I made a template. And all you have to do is, even if your cards are not the same size, just center it. And then I put a little green on here because I couldn't see the paper against the paper. So I wanted to be, make sure that I could see where I needed to cut. So I'm gonna center it as best I can. Again, they don't have to be perfect. And then I'm just gonna cut those corners right off. Real simple. And these are my favorite ones. But it doesn't really give you enough space to write on the tag on the front of it, so you can just write on the back of it. So, all right, once you have your little corners cut off. Let's move that out of the way. You can take your hole punch and just put your hole on each tag. And you have a set of gift tags, easy to make and really absolutely adorable. So the ones where the, the, the uh, lights go all over the front of it, you can simply just write on the back. Now, what I did also was I took, let me just fold this over because I don't want to get this pen on my table. I also took a, a gold acrylic paint pen for some of these. And what I did was I just outlined the side like this. and it adds a really nice touch. So you can get as decorative with these as you like. But instead of buying your gift tags this year, you can make them yourself. Let me move this out of the way and I'll show you the ones I've made so far. I've already even added my children's names to them. <laughs> and my brother, his girlfriend, my son-in-law. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you give these fun little tags a try. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section and be sure to check out the description box just below the video. If you don't see the list of products used, click on show more or the arrow pointing down and it will expand. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye.